Are What's you your favorite memory? <clears throat> there are quite a few of them, but one of my favorites probably is when <laughs> I was reading in the Riot Act about calling um, Alice Christian in the middle of the night when he was living on his own, and I'm pointing my finger at him. He's sitting on the end of his twin bed, and Kim's sitting next to him, and halfway through, he turns to Kim and says, so Kim, how's work? <laughs> <laughs> and Kim said, John, I think you better listen to your big sister right now. <laughs> so that was pretty funny, I thought. Oh, I think my a memory that I came up with immediately was when we were all at the fair. Our kids were younger, and we were went to the you know Frank or the Dark County Fair, and John had to use the restroom, and he left us to go use the restroom. We agreed that he would come back to where we were. We stayed in one spot, and he didn't come back. <laughs> and he didn't come back. And he didn't come back. And we went looking, or I think I stayed with kids, and Rob went, circled around, and tried to see if he could find him. And we finally headed over towards the horse barns, and of course that's where he was, with all the people that he schmoozes with. And I read him the riot act too, and I feel guilty about it to this day because you know, John was doing nothing more than what John does best. Just, you know, hanging with, hanging with his peeps. <laughs> <laughs> Chilling with his posse. Yeah. <laughs> you want to go? Uh, my favorite memory was last year when um, at Christmas when he said he just, he was just like, hi, and then I said hi, and then he, he immediately looks Dad and says, "How you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he would say that. Wow, because there's a lot of yeah. them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember when um, some, well, I'm gonna call him a little bit of a low life, came to their house when they lived on Lincoln, and John bought a large, large amount of meat from them. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> 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 And, um, of course, the damage was done, so he had to pay for it. But <laughs> because he had to pay for it, he would not give any let anybody else in the house eat that meat. <laughs> and that was the very day I was coming that over there for a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> That's hysterical. Uh, did make me laugh. We had to talk to him about sharing your food. <laughs> yeah. That's right. But she never really was into no, with wasn't. the meat. <laughs> he, I, he didn't share his subscriptions to Penthouse or Playboy either that he got at the fair. Do you remember that? Yeah. No. Somebody came up and had him sign up for subscriptions, he and Jason. Yeah. And oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> and we got that canceled. Yeah. <laughs> it's you, Rob. kids, it might have been Dave, might have come in the room and and uh, started distracting him and, and uh, he would just grab him and lift him up and carry him out of the room. <laughs> that was Zach. Zach. Yeah. 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 Zach, yeah. Zach still remembers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And uh, that was uh, always funny. <laughs> <laughs> Will there be refreshments? to say. Is there anything else to say, right? Will there be refreshments? <laughs> Do you remember that for uh, mom's funeral? <laughs> we were talking that, about it, yeah. Will there be refreshments? We gathered together to tell him, him so carefully yeah, with love. Mom and had he just looked passed at us away. Said, Will, Will there, there be, be refreshments? <laughs> 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 oh my god. If you got one. Um, okay. I remember a time when we were younger, me and the cousins, and we were playing on his Atari. Of course, we had asked him before he could play on it. And he would just come <laughs> in his room and sit on the edge of his bed. Just He wouldn't say anything. He'd just wait for us to get up and leave so he could watch TV or watch the ball game, whatever. He'd just sit there and look at us. And, I don't know. It was just fun. <laughs> some, of, uh, 
some of uh, some of the ones. I mean, there's millions to talk. I could oh, go. Mm-hmm. I could go for twenty days, John. Stories. <laughs> sure. The some of mine aren't, aren't all that happy of stories, even though they're funny. But when he was in being bad. Cindy was coming down on him. No, oh, yeah. So when Cindy came down on him, Carolyn had to come down on him because you know he had yeah. to kind of follow rules. Trickle down. And then as uh, trickle down beatings, we call those. Carolyn and I would usually take him up to Red and Roost for pizza when we were allowed to, but we take him out anyway. <laughs> Carolyn would lay into him, and he yeah you know, he well he'd always always order a hamburger and a bowl of chili. And then I would order a pizza, and then he'd always wait to make sure I got a big enough pizza so that he had, you know, hamburger, chili, and pizza. <laughs> but that's not what I was getting at. But the, the point what I was getting to was that when we would sit and talk to him about, the, you know, not sharing or, you know, he's stealing pops or whatever, and he looked at Carolyn, and Carolyn was very staunch and talked, and talked to him, you know, seriously about things. And he'd look at her, and he, she'd say, your mom would be very, very disappointed in you. Dad would be very disappointed in you. God's disappointed in you. And he would look at you, don't you love me anymore? <laughs> well, sin, don't you even love me? I always love you, John, but I don't like uh, you when you do that. That made me feel terrible. Oh, my God. Okay, I'll try to tell Dave and Gwen's as best I can. Um, John, for a while, there had a behavioral problem, you know, occasionally. And he lied his ass off about something. I don't know what it was. And Cindy said, okay, well, you can't go to Florida. And he freaked out. And uh, she relented with the understanding with Gwen and Dave that he could not do anything fun. He could not have fun. <laughs> so, I'm sure they great parents. Too. Yeah, yeah. Great. Too much fun happening. <laughs> yeah. Too so, much so he goes to Florida, and in the process of not having fun, he got to see the late last uh, launch at Cape Canaveral. He got to Horrible go out. Time. He got to go out with all their friends, bar crawling, and I guess he was even kind of stumbling a little bit by the end of the night. And he and he came home and told everybody he did not have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> they had warned him. You did not have a good time. Yeah, didn't he end up going up to like North Carolina too? Yeah. (laughs) Uh, I got a couple. One, you've heard these many times. Uh, When I first started going to the country with Doc, um, John again started going with Doc. He'd quit going for a long time. And John was strong as an ox. And when the farmers let the hogs get too big to be done, they, to cut a hog, to, to castrate a hog, he'd take John, because John was so strong. Eli, you're shaking the teeth. And we get to the, we get to this farm and get out, and uh, uh, Doc asked if he knew where we were, and John said, yeah, and the farmer comes out. He says, hi, Russell. And, was, and well, hi, John, you're sure growing up. And he says, I said, who is this, John? He says, it's Russell, Russell Richards. Hey, Russell, can I ask you a question? And Russell says, well, sure, John. He says, is your finger still gone? <laughs> <laughs> well, by God, John, it is. It's. <laughs> and the the other situation was for a number of years when we go out with Johnny. Sometimes he had a little bit of a body odor problem, and I was upset with him. I would said, you know, you're supposed to have gotten a shower. You're supposed to, you know, shave. You're supposed to put on it. I did put it on deodorant. I said, no, you didn't. I did put on, put on deodorant. I said, really, let me see. And he lifted up his shirt, and he's got two pom-poms this big, and there's white <laughs> dust on the outside edge. And I said, well, we're going to have to do something about that. So ever after, every time John saw me, the first thing he would say, because I shaved him from nuts to nose and butt, <laughs> butt to ears, was, are we, are we going to have a little spruce up? <laughs> did you bring your stuff? Are we going to have a little spruce up? And there are... Uh, so many more that um, oh, yeah. Let's go on Johnny. I just love him. He never. Uh, yeah, no. he, he knew everybody. He remembered every um, name of every person. Yeah, he did. Yeah. We go uh, when Carol and I. We'd always go to Greenville for whatever reasons, and uh, we try and pick a Saturday morning so we can go to Winter's Meat Market. Mm-hmm. As soon as he walked in the door, everybody knew John. John knew everybody there. Mm-hmm. Uh, no matter where we went, everybody knew Cedars, John. Then hey, yeah, we got yeah, yeah. Cedars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we'd be in a restaurant, and we'd go to a lot of restaurants here in town, and 
always someone would come up and say hi oh, to John. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, half of them would remember Carolyn, half of them wouldn't, but they always remember John. <laughs> yeah. 